Hi everyone, today I'm here with my monthly favourites for the month of May. So I know I said I'd only do these every two months, but I thought I'd just chuck this one out. The first thing that I want to show you guys, which if you follow me on social media, you would have seen these already. These boots from Novo. I think they are the Jetty brand, and I love them. I love them because not only are they cute, they are so, so comfortable. Pretty much every boot with a heel that I've purchased has kind of pretty much been uncomfortable. These are just amazing. I've been wearing them like every weekend, every every day that I can wear them. I've been wearing them and I've been obsessed. So I think maybe like $80, but you can definitely get them on sale. And I am a size five. I have tiny feet, but yeah, I love these shoes. They're great because they have a zip on the side so you can take them on and off easily and yeah. They're really good. Next thing that I've been loving for pretty much all of this year is the Bondi Sands Self Tanning Foam in Dark. I can't remember if I mentioned this in my last favourites or I forgot. Ever since I went to a Bondi Sands event, I've just been using their products more and more. And the reason why I went off this tan was because of the scent. But I really honestly think that they've improved the formula. I'm wearing it. I've got the tan on now this is the second day of wearing it and it's quite dark it's very very easy to apply it lasts pretty well i usually tan like friday saturday sunday now and then it lasts throughout the week and i scrub it off on thursday or friday morning but the smell is still there i notice it when i wear another tan like loving tan uh and that doesn't have the scent and then i go back to using this one and i'm like oh there it is but for the price, it is so great. A new product for me that I've been trying is the Maybelline Matchmaker Powder. This is in Sun Beige. I don't like the packaging. I hate the twist-off packaging. I much prefer the, um, the compact that you open and there's a mirror. I think this one is quite reasonably priced. I have this on my face, all over my face today. I think that the color is really nice and it actually does help your makeup stay matte. I would say that it's on par with the Fresh and Flawless by Australis. So yeah, there's my opinion on that one for you. One of you guys mentioned that I might like this blush and because I've been after like orangey kind of blushes and I was like, oh, I think I might have that. And it's the Milani blush in Rose Dioro and I have been wearing it like, I'm not wearing it today because I filmed a one brand tutorial, but I've been wearing it every day since I think she suggested it and it was like a week ago. I cannot put this down. It's amazing. It has such a beautiful sheen to it. I overall love these Milani baked blushes. I bought mine all when I was in America so I think you can get them from Beauty Bay or Beauty Joint or something like that but I love them their packaging is just brilliant and I love the formula of these as well here I have a makeup geek pigment in utopia now I filmed a tutorial uh, well, I filmed it twice, but I put it up once and I use this pigment and holy crap. It's amazing I don't even know how to describe it. It's kind of like a a gray like a silvery Goldy like dark Kind of gunmetal color. I don't know, but it's so beautiful. I mixed it with some uh, drops of Duraline from Inglot so it made it into a beautiful formula um, to put all over my eyes they do have fallout if you are going to mix it with some kind of mixing medium um, but they are just they like this is just stunning um, the packaging on this one is has like a little hole there but some of the other ones that I have don't have that which is kind of annoying but yeah, I really love that pigment. It's amazing. And these are pretty reasonably priced. Okay, are you feeling me with this cold weather and your dry lips? I have been suffering so, so bad. Like today I did two coats of a lip scrub and this is the next product, the Popcorn Lip Scrub by Lush. I do, like, it's just... Even this isn't good enough, but it has been saving me. Every time I go to put on lipstick, it just looks disgusting because my lips are so dry and there's so much dead skin. But this has been saving me and I'm so grateful for it. You can definitely make your own lip scrubs just with, um, what do they say, coconut oil and sugar. But this one tastes like butter popcorn and it's delicious. Next up is a favorite that I've rediscovered kind of thing, I guess you could say. It's the Maybelline Superstay 
makeup in pure beige this is the foundation obviously I have this on today and it just like it just lasts so well on the skin it has great coverage and it's so easy to apply like I went over it with the beauty blender but I don't think I really even needed to Coco just like ran past but apart from that it's really worth a try if you are after a a uh, long-lasting foundation for oily skin and that has full coverage. Okay, so I think I'm late on the bandwagon with this little uh, product, but it is the Maybelline Express Remover Dissolvent Express. You pretty much dip your finger in it and it takes off your nail polish. Like, this is... I'm not someone that actually wears normal nail polish that often, but I've been really into my Maybelline Superstay nail polishes. I haven't worn any for the past couple of weeks because I've been just lazy, to be honest. But this is so great. Like, you just literally put your finger, wheel around, and it just takes it off. It's amazing. The other thing that I like about this is that you can travel with it. If you need to touch up your nails or change nail polishes, you can just take this and you don't need the cotton buds or anything like that. You can just take this and it will take off your nail polish and you can reapply it. That is definitely a favourite of mine. I love this invention. It's amazing. <laughs> I don't know if I've talked about this recently in my favorites, but it's my Rosehip Oil. This is by Rosehip Plus. I only, like I swear by this brand. I love it so much. Um, I've used other Rosehip Oils or Argan Oils and I just, I just don't see the results that I see with this. Some people have said that it breaks them out. Um, so I guess be cautious of that. For me, there's done nothing but good things for my skin. I have been pretty much pimple free for the past two years after using this. Uh, it has also made my skin less oily, which is a bonus because I do have oily skin. I just put on some drops at night before I go to sleep. So I clean off my face. And that's one thing is you need to make sure your face is completely clean. I have a skincare routine listed below, which is pretty much the same. Um, I just use a makeup remover and then micellar water, take all of my makeup off and then put, I just put a drop here, a drop here and here and then rub it all into my skin. You don't need to use that much product, um, but I find that my skin is just glowing, the skin tone is evened out and my skin just feels like so much smoother, healthier and yeah, like I, Honestly, this has really changed my skin and for the better. I can't say enough good things about it. Uh, this one's 50 mils and it's about $25 from Chemist Warehouse. So yeah, love it. Okay, I don't know if I've expressed my love for this next product enough, but honestly, it's my favorite. And if I'm stuck, it's a go-to lip color for me. It is the YSL Rouge Volupt lipstick in number one. It is the perfect nude shade, like the perfect, just perfect. I love it. It has a tinge of pink to it, so it really suits my complexion. The formula is just amazing, and yeah, if I'm ever stuck, I just reach for this one. I love it so much. I'm going to be so sad when it runs out. The packaging is just gorgeous. I think I got my friend to bring this one back from America for me. Because I didn't know, I bought this, I got this one in the lingerie pink one because I wanted to get a wedding lipstick color and I ended up going lingerie pink, but this one is just perfect. I love it. I love my nude lips and this is like at the top of my list for nudes, like the top top. So that is the end of my monthly favorites for May. I hope you had a fantastic month and I can't believe it's nearly the middle of the year, like it's June tomorrow, the next day. How many days are there in May? I don't know. But anyway, uh, thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed, give it a thumbs up and let me know some of your favorites this month. I'd love to hear what you have been enjoying for the month of May and I'll see you in a few days. Bye.